I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media. Ganeer Resources, a Canadian-based mineral exploration company with gold and base metal permits in northern Sweden, has reported high-grade nickel assays from its LAFVETNET nickel deposit. Drill hole LAP2102 returned 3.19% nickel over 4.25 meters within a 10.4 meter interval grading 1.51% nickel which contained several narrow sections of massive and semi-massive sulfides consisting of mainly pyrotite, local pendlodite, and calcopyrite. Assays are still pending for the upper parts of LAP2102. At 48.15 meters, a 0.25 meter intercept returned 7.38% nickel, the highest nickel assay reported at LAPVENTNET. Last drilled in 2007, the results from Hole Lab 2102 are the initial batch of assays from Ganeer's first drill program at LabVetNet, where mineralization is hosted at the base of a peridotype intrusion and within underlying sedimentary gneissus. Lab 2101 with assays pending and Lab 2102 were drilled on Section 8E up dip of previous drilling, including hole 20702, which returned 3.21% nickel over 4.97 meters starting at 76.43 meters. Resampling by Ganeer within this interval from the 2007 hole returned 50.91 grams per ton PGEs, consisting of 39.0 grams per ton platinum, 11.8 grams per ton platinum, and 0.11 grams per ton gold over 0.45 meters. Drilling continues with tighter spaced holes at the shallow western part of LAFVENTNET deposit where the current work plan consists of 10 or more holes of approximately 1,200 meters. To date, the company has drilled seven holes, LAP 2101-207 on sections 8E, 9E and 10E for approximately 700 meters. Yari Paki, CEO, stated, Clearly, we are in a very nickel-rich system and have an opportunity to define further high-grade nickel shoots and to build upon our 2020 nickel resource. With whole LAP 2102, we have already identified nickel mineralization outside of the current resource block with the high-grade nickel intercept at just 30 meters below surface. Near-surface drilling continues at LAP that net and we look forward to reporting further results over the next several weeks. In 2020, the company outlined an inferred resource of 177 million pounds of nickel at LatVetNet along with its other nickel asset, Rormi Burgett. At LatVetNet, an inferred resource of 780,000 tons, grading 1.35% nickel for 23.1 million pounds of nickel. At Rormi Burgett, an inferred resource of 36,800,000 tons grading 0.19% nickel for 154 million pounds of nickel. The company has three projects. To the west of the two nickel copper coal bat deposits, the company's Nafton project hosts a developing intrusion hosted gold system, and VMS and copper nickel targets, all of which are open for expansion and further discovery. The company recently completed drilling where assays are pending and geophysics at the Nafton Gold Target. In all, four IP anomalies were identified which are all open-ended. For those not following nickel, prices on the London Metal Exchange recently touched 19,810 US dollars a tonne, having risen 17% so far this year. Supported by solid demand from industrial sectors and low inventories across the world, with stainless steel and EV batteries being the top nickel-consuming sectors. The shares are trading at 7.5 cents. For more information and to view the company's new presentation, please visit the company's website, guineerresources.com, contact Yari Paki, CEO, by email at jpaki at eastlink.ca, or Chris Robbins, CFO at 604-683-0484 or email robbinscr at shaw.ca. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.